We're doing autumn lawn care today on Pots and Trowels and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Dalak. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well here we are now in mid-October and although it's now starting to cool down the soil is still quite warm meaning we can carry out autumn lawn care uh, and I'm going to do a little bit on our lawns over the next couple of weeks around the house because we've got quite a lot of lawn and although I'm not looking for a bowling green I want it to look quite good and lush and through the summer not dry out too quickly and we've got a good grass cover here but if you look there's a lot of weed and I don't want to use too much in the way of chemicals so I'm going to try and remove some of the excessive weeds culturally. We've also got a lot of moss which makes it really really spongy so I want to get rid of some of that and in places it's quite compact because of years and years of mowing without any aeration. Now traditional way to do it if you're doing it by hand would be a good old garden fork and we would use that literally to and I can feel that that's quite hard as I go down. What that will do is get air into the soil it helps with drainage and encourages strong roots but it's quite a long job doing that especially if the ground hasn't been forked or spiked for a long time but it will work or the other way is to use a good old springbok or wire tying rake and we could use that again to give the lawn a good old rake like that and we can see there that it's bringing out the moss and what we call the thatch and the thatch is all the dead material that's built up in the base of the grass so you know a handful there in a square foot so I would get barrel loads and barrel loads off this lawn that again helps with surface aeration promotes strong healthy grass from the base and gets rid of that sponginess and you can do this through much of the year when the weather's right. What I'm going to do is do it mechanically and this has been lent to me by one of our sponsors Cobra Garden. This is their new Fortis cylinder mower that comes in various sizes. This is the petrol model. They've got a, a battery one that's going to be launched very soon which is exciting um, and the great thing about this is it comes with a detachable cartridge. So this is the five cylinder cutter that goes in there that makes Makes a really good job you can set it at various heights but you can take that out and interchange it with these various cartridges that all help with the lawn care system to help keep your lawn looking really good through the year so we've got here a, a verticut which has got these quite big blades on there that cut down and, and get rid of the crossing grasses there this one here we've got the scarifier so that's basically doing like a hand wire rake that rakes out the moss and the thatch we've then got this one here if I lift that one up this one here is a de-thatcher similar thing to the wire one but it's a heavy duty one it's got a steel blade so it will really dig down and cut out there and then we've got the spiker looks like an instrument of torture there so that's got these steel spikes that go in to help with the surface drainage and then a brush you might think why a brush well it's great for getting rid of worm casts it's also good for raking any debris or leaves off the surface it just keeps it in good condition so we're going to try all of these on the lawn and I'll show you how they go but the first thing I need to do is to mow the lawn you don't want a long grass when you're doing your lawn care you want to get it down not too short just a, a normal trim and then we can interchange and have a go with these So what I've done now is just taking the top off, giving it a reasonable trim. If you don't do that when you start to do all the scarifying, you're cutting the grass anyway. So you might as well get rid of the surplus grass on the top. Um, and that, as you can see, has cut that really, really finely. So that can now go on the compost bin. And what I'll do is then swap this cartridge for one of the others. Well, as you can see, I've only been up and down a few times on this piece of lawn and just look at that moss. Always turn off first, by the way, before you take this off. But look at the amount of moss that that's raked off. And that has by no means got rid of all of it, um, but it's certainly getting a lot of it out. So expect to have a big pile of moss. And what I'm doing is 
believe it or not, I'm doing this quite lightly. I'm not going too deep in. So my wire tines aren't cutting in too deep. So I'll pass over it once. And then what you can do is just with this lever here, I can just lower that down just a fraction more. And ideally what you need to do is to do it in various directions. So you would do it at right angles and if you can corner to corner and each way takes a little bit of moss out. So that will get rid of all that spongy matter in it. And then you can go on to do your dethatching and then your aeration. So I'm gonna be doing this for a while longer by the look of it. After scarifying, I've put on this cartridge here, which is the Verticut cartridge. So these, if I just move that grass out of the way, always make sure the engine is switched off before you ever do anything like this. Um, so we can see these are steel blades that have gone into the soil. Maybe about um, 10 millimetres, you can again adjust the, the, the depth very easily. And what these do, if you can see on the lawn, there are lots of strips, it's cutting in and cutting slices into the lawn. So that will also take out some thatch. Now, had the thatch been even thicker than it was after the wire scarifier, then I could have used this one here. This is the dethatcher and that would rip in quite deep. But I haven't done it here because the ground's quite wet and I don't want to churn it up too much. But this has done a great job because we've got these little slits in here. So it also cuts through the grass, cuts through the surface root. And then what happens is it makes the grass thicken out from where you cut the grass plant. It responds by thickening out. So overall, it will make a much thicker cover of grass, a stronger root system, and also improves the drainage on the surface because of those little slot slits so the water can go down. And if you've got a lawn like mine, which is a bit humpy bumpy, just because how it's happened over the years, by doing this on a regular basis, it actually helps the soil then to level out. So with regular mowing, I'll get a much flatter level of lawn. So done that one. Final one is the spiker to get some air into the soil. And then that's it, done. There you go, hopefully the work that I've done on the lawn will pay off and we'll see some improvements within a few weeks, but certainly by next spring and next summer, it should be a lot better. So I've basically, we've mown it to get rid of the excess grass. We've scarified it with the wire tines to get out the moss and the thatch, the dead material lower down. Then we've had the verticutter, which makes those vertical slits in there, which helps with the drainage, but it'll also help the grass and the roots to really thicken out. And finally, I've got these little solid tines on there that go in about that deep which will help with surface drainage and again get air down to the roots which is vital for healthy growth especially through the winter. Now I appreciate this is quite an investment a piece of machinery like this especially with the cartridges as well so you've either got to have a large lawn or you are committed to having a, a good quality lawn but on a smaller lawn of course you know there are some excellent electric scarifiers that do a really good job of getting the thatch out and the air rate in it and of course if you've got a tiny patch of grass as I said right at the very beginning, a wire rake and a garden fork will work wonders. So we'll carry on doing this in the spring. Uh, we might put an autumn feed on the lawn now just to give it that little bit of a boost. And then from spring onwards next year, I'll be doing little and often work on the lawn. So hopefully by next summer, I will have transformed our lawns and they will look so much better. So I'll show you them then.
Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials. And remember, you can watch all of our videos on YouTube where you can subscribe for free, including a video on using an electric scarifier. Next week, we're out and about. We're going to the Willoughby Road allotments in Boston in Lincolnshire. So we'll see you then. Bye.